by Sweetwater. Now I recently visited the Sweetwater campus in Fort Wayne, Indiana, shot a bunch of content, and they were amazing. The place absolutely blew me away. Uh, so I have affiliate links that are all from Sweetwater in the links below, and Sweetwater is the best place to get your gear. I even personally saw the 55 point inspection on the guitars, and they are so thorough, you will not be disappointed. So check those links below. Thanks for supporting. Let's get to it. Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music and I'm gonna give you 10 more awesome, easy rock songs that you should know on guitar. Uh, I have links for deeper tutorials on these tunes in the links below and also I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. All right, let's get to it. Number 10, Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. <laughs> Tiger Stripes. Really fun. That main riff is, is really fun. You can uh, just do power chords. You start right on that eighth fret, which is a C power chord, eight and ten. And so that's eight. So you go eight, eight, six, eight, eight, six, eight, eight, three, four, eight, eight, six, eight. Eight, six, eight, eight, three, four. And then palm muting, you've just got that C note too. Scorpions rock you like a hurricane. Check it out. <laughs> Another classic power chord uh, extravaganza, if you will. 12th fret is an E power chord. One, two, three. One, two, three on that 12th fret. 12, 12, 12. Three, three. So two times on that third fret power chord. 12, 12, 12. Three, three. Five, five. Eight. Only once on the eight. 12, 12, 12. Three, three. Five, five. Eight, and then back to two again. Ten, ten, as far as two times. So just that C power chord, which is the eighth fret, that's only strummed or picked once. First one's three times, the rest are two. Sympathy for the Devil. All right, so Sympathy 
for the devil is a great song because it uses all the open beginner chords instead of power chords. Let's do a rock and roll song. So you have E major. D major. A major. Back to E major. And it starts over. E. Other change, B7, which is a great chord that you're gonna need for a 12 bar blues. So B7, back to E. B7. Number seven is Green Day, When I Come Around. When I Come Around by Green Day is usually tuned down a half step. I'm gonna keep it in standard tuning, but it's a G power chord. So third fret E to a D power chord, which is fifth fret of the A string. And then up a whole step to E minor, but you can start by playing a power chord. So that's seventh fret A string to third fret A string. And as you get uh, better at your chords and bar chords, you can make the last two chords full bar chords, E minor bar chord to a C major. And the other change is an A power chord to a C. Number six is ACDC, Dirty Deeds, Dunder Cheap. It's super fun. Take a look. So, classic power chords. So you have an E power chord. And then a G power chord, at which classically is played third, five, five there. But you could also play this power chord, which is middle finger on the third fret, and you're muting the A string just by putting your middle finger there. And to finish it off, you could add third fret on the B and third fret of the high E. A power chord is just the E power chord, but next door, open A, second fret D, back to E. So it keeps going back to E. E, G, E, A, E, and then finally a D power chord to E. In a D power chord, think of a D major chord. 
but you don't want to hear that high E, so you can mute it or just avoid it altogether. I'm letting my middle finger by not pressing down mute it, and I'm also not aiming for it. power chords for the verse. power chord A G A E E G A A A G A E da da the E E E E E E E E is Led Zeppelin Communication Breakdown. All right, any Zeppelin song that is made up of power chords is never just easy strumming power chords. There's tons of nuance and little characteristics that make it more than just power chords, but they're great to practice even for a beginner by starting with the power chords. So Communication Breakdown starts with the open E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Followed by power chords D, A, D, and you can play them right here on the fifth fret of the A string, and then moving it up to fifth fret of the E string. So this is a D power chord, because that's a D note. That's an A power chord, because that's an A note. So D, A, D, and then the open E. And then the change of this song is the fifth fret E power chord, so an A power chord. And then up to B, so up a whole step, seventh fret. And then right back to the main riff. And so when I'm doing that, my palm is literally resting on the on the strings. Not. I'm kind of thinking of it as rested and then releasing just enough to hear that E ring out. So. Number four is the Nirvana classic Lithium. Love this tune. Take a look. It's amazing how you can take the same power chord shape and play almost every classic Nirvana song with one finger shape. Lithium is one of my favorite Nirvana songs. It's a D. They're all going to be power chord shapes. So uh, fifth fret on the A, second fret on the E power chord, over to the A on the second fret. And then third fret on the E, then six on the E, eight, but now five to eight. So five on the A, two on the E, two on the A, three on the E, six, eight, five, eight. Practice picking them out on the clean part. Thank you. 
number three, one of my favorite ACDC tunes and uh, pretty easy to play is Highway to Hell. Highway to Hell, another one of my all time favorite rock songs. Classic A power chord, first letter of the band's name. One, two, three. Then we introduce a D power chord, but with an F or D over F sharp. And the two different ways to play that are thinking of it as a D chord. We're going to mute that high E, but we're, we can put our thumb over and hit that second fret E string. Another way, which is very popular, uh, you can play ring finger on the third fret B, middle finger on the second fret of the G, and then index finger on that second fret E. Now, if you play it that way, you transition from this three finger shape to this two finger G power chord. Middle finger just hops over to the third fret E string and you're not hearing that high E string. Now, as a beginner, what's fun about ACDC is those, those great little rests where there's just open space, and it actually gives you a little extra time to form that shape in time. And then from here, you should practice. Power chord, mute the G. And then A, D, G, D, A, D, A. Number two is Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin. So once again, there's extra flavor besides just a little lick and power chord, but let's start with that. Ring finger on the seventh fret E, and then to the fifth fret A string. And you do that twice. And then move that index finger up to the seventh fret A string, and from there you form the E power chord. And you have the open E, so. So you're doing two singles on the E, then the stab on that A and D. Controlling the dynamics with palm muting. But once you get that, when you hit the fifth fret, you want to just microtonal bend, like a little bend. 
but also use the very tip so you can get the open D to ring out with that. And it adds a little, a little dissonance there, which sounds really cool. And number one, last but not least, Black Sabbath, Iron Man. Take a listen to this. <laughs> Classic, classic. You can play the open E string and pull down behind the nut. So I'm just pulling down on it. And then relaxing it. Fun trick to impress the friends. Um, then we've got power chords, but we can start with single notes. Fun to do it that way. So, seven, 10, 10, 12, 12. Seven, 10, 10, 12, 12. And then you can grab your middle finger onto the 15 with the index behind it on the 14 and go three times. Down to 10. 10, 10, 12, 12. 7, 10, 10, 12, 12. 15, 14, 15, 14, 15, 14. Three times. 10, 10, 12, 12. Then, instead of, you can practice with one finger. And then add your ring finger for power chord. So seven to ten, seven, seven, ten, seven, six, five, five, five. Four, five, five, six, seven, ten, seven, six, five, 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 oh, four, five, five, six, enjoyed that countdown don't forget i've got uh, links for the full tutorials down below also i appreciate you subscribing here to the marty music youtube channel thank you again and uh if you want me to do another 
list like this. Let me know what should be in it in the comments below. Thanks again, you guys. We'll see you later.